Hi, hello and good morning everyone. Newborn Investor here and welcome to my live day trading video. Hopefully the market gives us some great opportunities today as we are all here to make some money. So if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Consider subscribing if you're interested in stock market investing and trading. I do offer a free Discord chat group where I post my trade ideas before it plays out. So please feel free to check out the link in the description below. Alright, let's see what we have for today. I do have three stocks in my watch list, ticker XL, ticker BTWN and ticker PLTR. So Excel right now, it looks impressive because uh, earlier the trend was downwards. Uh, there was no trend confirmation. So I want Excel to hold the trend and break the pre-market high of around 3450 before I'm interested. The next one is ticker BTWN. The stock gapped up to a pre-market high of $21 and now it's trading around $16.75. So it's clearly on a downtrend. I'll be interested in BTWN if it wants to reverse the trend and continue higher. Then I do have PLTR. Obviously, PLTR is also on a downtrend as of now. I'll keep it on watch. So as of now, Excel would be my primary watch going into market open. We do have around 25 minutes for market open. So I'll go ahead and pause for now and I'll talk to you guys just before market open. Okay, the market opens in a minute and Excel would be my primary watch going into market open. I do have support levels marked. My first support level is around 33, 67, 70 area. Then my next ad would be around 33 area. My third ad would be around 32. And my final ad around 31, 20. I do have a, a bigger room uh, on this stock. I'm taking that risk today. I would mitigate that risk with a smaller share size. The market is open. Putting my entry around 33.75. If 34 breaks, probably I'll get my entry. I think I'm left in the dark. I'll, I'll wait. Looks like I may get my ad. It again bounced off the 34 area. Yep, I'm in. I'm watching. I'm not selling. I just want to give it some more time. I got my second ad, putting my third ad around 32 area. If the stock wants to retest 33.75, I would look to exit selling, putting an order around 33.90. Got my first exit. I'm out of the trade. That was a perfect trade. Textbook setup, the stock respected my levels. You could see here the stock bounced off my levels clearly. I could have taken my first exit uh, when the stock actually uh, tried to retest 34.50 area, but I wanted to give it some time and probably the stock would continue even higher from now. But I think I got my fair share of profits. I'll be interested in Excel if the stock wants to make new highs. Right now, I think the setup is over. I would still watch Excel for any other setups. On my first trade on Excel, I made a little over $100. I'll take it. I would like to get an entry around 32.5. I got in. This would be a quick scalp. 32.24 would be my exit. Just putting a sell order around 32.24. Just giving it some more time. So 31.26 would be my next ad. Yep, I got in. I've exited. That was a risky trade, but just made $20 on that. So was it worth the risk? Not sure, but it was way overextended on the five minute chart. And that was the reason why I pulled the trigger. Probably I could have waited a, a little more, but it's always hindsight, you know, almost a dollar more. My average was around 31 65 and now it's at 32.75 but glad i was able to come out of the trade green so on my second trade on excel i made close to around 20 dollars so that puts me up around 120 dollars i'll take it and i'll be completely happy with it being a half trading day i don't want to overstay my welcome so i'll call it a day i think on excel i actually traded my plan I had four entry levels marked and I averaged in. Uh, I got my entries at all those four levels and I was able to come out of the trade green. So this is the advantage of going into a trading day with a plan. I actually traded the plan. Overall, a decent day of trading, making approximately $120 in less than 15 minutes. I'll take it and I'll be completely happy with it. 
As I always say, the goal here is not to hit home runs, but to make consistent base hits and live another day to trade. Enjoy your holidays and I'll talk to you guys on Monday. Until then, stay safe and thanks for watching. Bye.